Hey, it's David Farmer, and today we're talking Google Analytics. Specifically, today they have released a brand new Google Analytics. We have a lot of information to cover. We're gonna do kind of a high overview of the new analytics, some of the things that you're gonna be able to do inside the new Google Analytics and how to get started. So let's go ahead and take a couple minutes and look at what is available in the new analytics and why they've made this change. So first of all, let's go ahead and go to the announcement. I'm gonna include this announcement in uh, the notes uh, on this video. So look for that information. Now what I've done here is I've highlighted a few things that I wanna be able to cover with you. So let's go ahead and go to uh, introducing the new Google Analytics. As you can see, it's published uh, October 14th. Um, so first of all, Google Analytics has basically been the same for many years and the world of digital has changed so much, especially over the last 12 to 18 months. We've seen the use of cookies being demoted, um, which really drives all most of the data that's being collected on your dealership's website to be able to provide you the insights that you need on your marketing. So with the diminishment or the demotion of the use of cookies, Google Analytics has had to change how they're collecting data. So I'm sure this is something that they've, they've been working on for a very long time, and um, it's really gonna provide a whole new way to track, look at data, and um, discover the insights that are gonna be able to help you drive your marketing and your business. Um, so let's get into some of the things that I have highlighted here. Um, for example, it says, to help you get better ROI, from your marketing for the long term, we've created a new, more intelligent Google Analytics that builds on the foundation of the app plus web property that was introduced last year. It has machine learning at its core, automatically surface helpful insights, uh, and gives you a complete understanding of your customers across devices and platforms. It gives you a complete understanding of your customers. Um, it's uh, privacy centric um, by design. So you can rely on Google Analytics even as industry the industry changes like the restrictions on cookies and identifiers uh, that create gaps in your data. The new Google Analytics will give you the essential insights you need for what's next. Um, so this really starts to talk about uh, the, uh, the, the fact that the industry has changed over the last 12 to 18 months, the use of cookies is uh, uh, not being utilized as much. That cookie is really what ultimately was able to identify uh, unique visitors and unique views from individual people and being able to tie those cookies together from one device to another, you'd be able to follow that customer uh, journey uh, across devices. Since cookies aren't as prevalent as they have been in the past, you were losing that connection and we no longer, we have uh, gaps in our data. So if we're losing that connection and we're not able to identify uh, the individual activities from individual people, the insights and data that we were able to look at inside Google, Google Analytics has not been as valuable. So this really is gonna make for a huge step forward. So let's look at a few other things here. Uh, it's, uh, according to the article, it says, this allows you to create audiences to reach higher value customers and run analyses to better understand why some customers are likely to spend more than others so you can uh, take action to pr improve your results. So one of the great things that we've always been able to do in Google Analytics is to be able to create segments of individuals that we can market to. So these audiences, as they call them, is what is, uh, would be available to be published into Google Ads, into uh, Display Video 360, uh, into YouTube, to be able to do behavioral remarketing or retargeting. Now we're gonna be able to have 
more insights into the ways that we create those audiences so we can tailor the ads more effectively to the customers that are taking specific actions on your website. So from a marketer standpoint, this is very exciting to be able to open up more data around audience creation. Um, other areas uh, to consider this new approach also makes it possible to address long time advertiser requests because the new analytics can measure app and web interactions together. It can include conversions from YouTube engaged views that occurred in app and on the web in your reports. So you think about most customers or most users are consuming video content within the YouTube app on mobile devices. In the past, we've not been able to connect those users to activity that happens on your dealership's website. So you might be putting out there a lot of organic content on YouTube or a lot of paid content in uh, pre-roll ads or true view, true view video ads, but not be able to make the connection because a lot of customers aren't going to click on a, a link that's going to bring that customer to your dealership's website. So you're losing that visibility. Now, with the ability to be able to use this new property from that YouTube app, you're going to be able to track those interactions and really understand how you're, you're connecting with people with your video advertising in that in mobile device and what happens to that customer from a conversion standpoint once they get to your dealership's website. So from a, a marketer standpoint, an, adver, uh, an advertiser standpoint, uh, this is really going to be a huge opportunity uh, for us to be able to look at and uh, uh, gain insights on how to better adjust uh, digital marketing budgets across video, social, digital, very exciting stuff. It, 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 it continues to go uh, on saying, uh, seeing conversions from YouTube video views alongside uh, conversions from Google and non-Google paid channels, including organic channels like Google search, social and email is going to help you understand the combined impact of all of your marketing efforts. Very exciting stuff. Uh, for example, it's showing a graph here where you can see YouTube video views and Google Display Network all within Google Analytics. They give some great examples of how some uh, companies such as Vistaprint or Domino's Pizza have been utilizing the app plus web property and how this will transition into the new Google Analytics. A um, couple other things that I thought was interesting, uh, based on feedback, we've simplified and reorganized reporting so you can intuitively find marketing insights based on the part of the customer journey that you're interested in. So again, as the customer is going through these customer journeys from uh, discovery with advertising, maybe they are visiting third-party uh, inventory sites such as cars.com or Auto Trader, Car Gurus, and then as those customers visit your dealership website and they convert into leads, the new Google Analytics is going to be able to allow you to see much more of that customer journey. Uh, for example, you can see what channels are driving new customers to uh, in the user acquisition report. Uh, then use the engagement and retention reports to understand the action these customers take and whether they stick around after converting. So really a whole new way to utilize Google Analytics. And what it makes me think about is you almost had to be a, an analytics expert to really be able to go into Google Analytics, understand how to set up events and goals, and then I mean, you'd almost have to be a scientist to figure out how to read that and gain any real insights just because there's so much of it. So with the new Google Analytics, I'm very hopeful that more of these uh, reports and graphs are going to be a little bit easier to gain the insights that we need to be able to make business and marketing decisions. 
Uh, again, it's built for the long term. The new analytics is designed to adapt to a future with or without cookies. So again, they're really keying in on the fact that they've lost a lot of visibility into users because cookies are not the prevalent uh, number one source of data anymore. And being able to connect multiple devices to individual people has gone away. So this is the future of Google Analytics. Today marks a new day for Google Analytics. So what they're saying is they, you, they are encouraging you to create a, a new Google Analytics 4 property. And this is something that I'm highly recommending that you do. If this is something that you can do for your dealership, I highly recommend that you do it. Um, if you don't have access to this, get with your marketing agency, get with your IT guy, get with your website provider, uh, and ask them to take these simple steps to open up uh, your ability to utilize this data. I'll tell you the reason why it's so important is until you take these steps, that, that new property is not gonna be able to track the data. Google Analytics, when you make a change, it doesn't look backwards, it only looks forward and only starts to collect data forward. So if you don't do this now, as these new reports start to, um, uh, start to roll out, you're, only gonna be, you're not gonna be able to go backwards in time and look at the data. As Soon as you make this change, we're gonna start tracking that information. And it's a very simple process. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into um, Google Analytics, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your existing Google Analytics account. As you can see right here, this is an existing Google Analytics account for a demo site that we have. And you can see over on the left hand side, we have real time, audience, acquisition, behavior, and conversion. Same thing that's been there for years. The new Google Analytics you're going to see is going to provide a lot more data and a lot more areas uh, within the user interface. But from here, go down to uh, Admin. Admin's going to bring up your account properties and views. And we're going to go, and you what you have to do is you have to create a new property. When you create a new property, you're going to uh, be able to create one for the web, which is what we've all typically done. You have the ability to create one for an app, and then you have the what's been in beta for the last year, apps and web. That is the new Google Analytics 4. So you select that, you hit continue. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, call this a test a GA4, so we understand what that is. Um, I select the category, automotive, of course, United States, um, of course, we're uh, New York time zone, and then I hit save. Uh, and create that. Now, from here, before it starts collecting data, I have to sync this up to your dealership website. Now, they've made it very easy to do it. Um, you can either uh, enter this into an existing uh, Google Tag Manager account, but I would recommend the alternative way to get this set up, and this is to really enhance your existing tracking tag. And to do this, just go ahead and select web. Um, actually, come back here. Uh, yeah. Now make this my website. So I'm really just finishing the, the, the setup process here. So what I've done is I've put in my URL, I've, I've uh, 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 given, given that stream a name, that's what they're calling the data as they're getting it, uh, and it's let you know what is measured, that the enhanced measurement is turned on, you hit create stream, and then it's going to give you um, the ability to either sync this to an existing on-page tag, or you can add it to a new Google, Ma uh, Google Manager tag. So I'm going to go existing, and then I'm going to go Google Analytics. I'm going to open this up, and it shows right here what you need to do. You go to your, your uh, existing Google Analytics account. You go to uh, property, admin, tracking info, tracking code, and then you connect it. And you have to grab this number right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. I can close this off, come back to my home page here. 
you can see or we've already we're on the new Google Analytics here so you see everything on the left hand side has changed so for now let's go back to Google Analytics you pull up my standard demo website account There it is. So this is my existing account. Again, you can see on the left-hand side, it's, it's far less information there. I go to uh, admin, like it said. I go to tracking info right there. And then I go to uh, tracking code. And then connected site tags. You can already see I already have one connected there. But I could open that up. And then I'll paste that in right there, and then I can optionally give it a, a, a nickname. So if I hit a test right there and connect, boom. So now what it's done is it's taken the new Google Analytics 4 property, and it's, it's synced it to the existing Google Analytics code. Now, why this is so important is if because you already have your Google Analytics code embedded on your dealership's website. So this is now going to start tracking that new stream data that is going to be available inside this new account. So if I pop back over here, now you can see I'm on the new uh, uh, test uh, GA account. And then how you're going to be able to uh, get these different areas, of course, when you when you click into Google Analytics, you can uh, find your properties. That's where it's going to be in the second column where you can uh, open up your new GA4. And that's what I'd recommend naming it as GA4 uh, plus your dealership name so you know exactly uh, which account, uh, uh, which property that you're looking at. And so you can see all this additional data. So now you can start to see there's a lot of different changes here from we, ha we still have acquisition, we still have real time, but we no longer have behavior. Uh, so now we have engagement, and that's where you're going to find your events, and you're going to find the pages and screens, which is going to be a new area within uh, Google Analytics. Uh, and you can see that we have a bunch of other information here, uh, including the configure audiences. So a lot of great information. So let's just do a quick recap here. Uh, today we're talking about and reviewing the brand new Google Analytics as of today being released. Um, it's going to give you much more insights into what's happening today in the world of uh, digital, uh, world of digital, whether it's your website or uh, applications. Because cookies have been demoted and have uh, really been. Uh, 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 not utilized as they have in the past. Last 12 to 18 months have made Google Analytics less effective at really providing the insights that you need as a marketer. Um, so this really moves us into a new era, uh, providing deeper insights to uh, users on the web through apps, um, connecting uh, d different uh, activities that customers are taking through uh, organic and paid sources, bringing them in from conversion metrics. Again, very exciting. Uh, and then we also covered how you can get uh, that set up by creating a new Google Analytics 4 property, adding it to the existing tracking uh, code that's already embedded on your site. This is extremely important so you can start tracking that data today. And then as we make that transition uh, to the new analytics from a reporting standpoint, you're going to be able to have access to both. Um, so, as always, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. If you got any value out of this uh, video, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, we'll notify you anytime that there is new content. Um, as always, again, very appreciative of your time. This video, as well as many others, is going to be available on Entice.com.